I like mixing as much of the chemicals from scratch as I can and I also like taking advantage of the manufacturer's uh, chemicals when I can as well. So you'll notice that I have mixtures of Kodak, Ilford, and then Nymoc uh, scratch mix chemicals. So we have different types of chemicals that we use all the time and that are part of a darkroom that I think that you should always have. Um, if you're going to be making developers, uh, the one I make a lot is a solarization developer, which is actually a Dectol developer, Dectol soft. In other words, there's no hydroquinone in the developer. So I, I buy sodium sulfite, metal, sodium carbonate, potassium bromide, and sodium bromide. Those are my solarization chemicals. But I also use potassium bromide when I do my bleaching. So that gets double usage. I use sodium carbonate for my toning. When I, when I want to change the alkalinity of my toning bath, especially blue, this chemical is used twice, double usage. Sodium sulfite, I would say this is my number one chemical. I use it in all my developers, but I also use it heavily in HypoClear. So it's a really powerful uh, component. I buy Ilford multigrade. Um, we have always on hand five or six units. This is enough to do 50 liters, but this is a big dark room and this ha does a lot of work day in, day out. I sometimes buy glacial acetic acid, but I actually like, I prefer this because it shows me when it's going bad. Um, and then I use Kodak Hypam. I mean, sorry, Ilford Hypam. Sorry, Harmon. And this is made uh, through Ilford Harmon Technology in the UK. And um, this is probably the number one um, unit that I use, uh, fixer. It, it, it's used in, in printmaking, it's used in film processing, so we go through a lot of this, this chemical. We also use uh, different hydroquinone, sodium bisulfite, sodium hexametoch, I can't even pronounce it. This is for, uh, this is Calgon. This is basically to be added to the sodium sulfite when you make hypoclear. And that will stop scumming. Uh, my toners, we're starting to get into my toner section. Uh, and I'll go back here. Sodium metabisulfite is used in alternative printmaking. Paraformaldehyde, hydroquinone, sodium bisulfite. Those are components that are used with some of these to make lift developer, and um, which is a very high act of high activity developer that creates a lift effect. Okay, so then we get into our uh, toners, and for toning. The bleach side, which I do a ton of bleaching, which we're going to show later, is a mixture of potassium ferrocyanide and potassium bromide. So that's the bleaching agent. The toning agent is sodium sulfide. And that is the stinky stuff. This is the stuff that smells like rotten eggs. And we go through a lot of that as well. So you can start seeing that we're starting to use chemicals for different things. Now there's a blue toner that I do, which is a mixture of ammonium citrate, oxalic acid, and potassium ferrocyanide again. So this one gets double use again. And when I use this chemical to tone it blue, I have to use the carbonate to take some of the yellow out of the print when it, when it tones. So, all of these get intermixed. And then when we get down here, we're into gelatin for making carbon tissue, uh, citric acid, that's it for used in platinum palladium, um, EDTA, potassium oxalate, ammonium citrate. These are all chemicals that we use in alternative printmaking. And these we'll, we'll explain as we go further into them. 